They counted at least six individuals who had purchased narcotics off of Silk Road and died as a result. People have flooded Africa with a lot of scams, and a lot of our people are falling into those scams. When there's a crisis and everybody tries to pull their money out of the banking system at the same time, banks don't have that money. They have either destroyed the money or they are in the process of destroying it. It's not that central financial authorities were a bad idea, but where it has failed us is where human greed has been able to manipulate the system. Since Bitcoin, like I became interested, I would still be living in my oblivious way, hoping that whoever's running the system is running it fine, and that we don't end up in the same way that Zimbabwe ended up. We all remember what happened with the financial crisis in 2009. In that situation, we were reminded again that banks can fail. Inside, I was like, whoa, this seems a little bit shady. In the very beginning, I remember they used to like call me and try to recruit me. They said, like, you have got a network of people who can make a lot of money. If law enforcement or the government want information about me, they should have to come knock on my door. This person, what he's saying on TV, it's like, that's oh, a nonsense. It's not up to some politician or some other institution to tell me what I can and what I can't do. That's my business. Finally, we could use the internet to create a financial system that benefited everybody potentially. There are a class of problems in Africa where we can just leapfrog. How are you feeling? Very excited. Making history. <laughs>